All right, today's question isn't really for today, it's more for tomorrow. So where, if we were at Disney, where would you want to have breakfast tomorrow morning? What is calling to you? Honestly, I would just want to go to a Joffrey's cart and get a huge donut Mm. and one of their coffees. Yes, that sounds amazing. I'd probably pick, honestly, I'd pick um, Ohana's because I just want to smash a huge breakfast in the morning have some pongo juice pongo is that correct i think so shoot pogmosa pog juice pongo pongo pog juice yes and i would like it spiked yeah so a pogmosa hell yeah 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 that sounds good and like Mickey waffles, like, I'm talking, like, five or six Mickey waffles, and then their breakfast potatoes, and some vegan sausages, just... Duh. And then, like, a huge bowl of fruit. Oh, you yeah. Know? That oh, just yeah. sounds so good. Hi, I'm Scott. I'm Candice. I'm Lacey. And I'm Lariah. Grab a drink and come hang with us at the Hangar Bar. All right, everybody, welcome back to Hanging at the Hangar Bar. Today is just me, Lacey. And me, Lariah. And today's episode, we're just going to play a good old this or that game. Because we love games and we play these even when we're not recording because we just love them so much. So I have some written down. Lariah is just going to do it on the fly So we'll see what we come up with. I'll go first. This or that? Epcot or Animal Kingdom? Ouchie. Yeah. That's a tough choice. Mm, Probably Animal Kingdom. Really? Mm Mm-hmm. Why? It's just more scenic. Yeah. And you can... There's just way less pressure to do things in Animal Kingdom. It's more kind of on a whim with a lot of things. And like chill. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm picking Epcot, of course, because that's my favorite park. Epcot is my favorite park. I'm Uh, just kidding. (laughs) Funny. Epcot is the best. All right. My turn? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to do some resorts. Okay. And even though we have ne- neither of us have stayed in these i'm gonna say either port orleans french quarter okay or fort wilderness Ooh, i'm gonna pick fort wilderness i knew you would yeah i like the log cabin style resort mm. yes i that's one of the top resorts i would want to stay in also. yeah but obviously, I'm going with Port Orleans. Yeah. That'd be cool, too. Mm-hmm. All right. Shuttle bus or monorail? Shuttle bus. Really? I love the bus system at Disney. I think it's so thought out and so... What's the word I want to use? Just, like, it just feels like you're in an actual small community. Yeah. And it's so fun to just think, oh, I'm just going to the bus stop to go take me to Magic Kingdom. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. the Especially the first time, like, the next day, being at Disney, waking up in the morning and go sitting at the bus stop is, like, one of the best feelings ever. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. The small conversations you have with other people. Yep. Because I remember us just talking about Flight of Passage with some people, and it was, like, a really nice conversation. Mm Mm-hmm. I'm actually going to pick monorail because I really do like the monorail, and it's just so Disney classic. I mean, so is the shuttle bus, but, yeah. I, you know, and you go fast and... Go real fast. Go real fast. And it smells like... B.O. Oh. 
lovely disney bo so Um, it's better okay okay this may seem like a silly question because i've never been on one of these attractions but you have so i'm more interested in your answer but the people mover or the tiki room people mover really yeah tiki room is good it's great actually and it's nice to get you know to sit and hear the birds singing and it's fun but the people mover is just ridiculously fun that ride is stupid fun where you're it's literally what it is a people mover and i the name alone makes me chuckle oh yeah i definitely wish they had more rides like that yeah yeah very fun yeah obviously i'm going with the people mover because that's the only one i've been on but yeah you'll enjoy the tiki room it's fun all right skipper canteen or california grill skipper really Mm -hmm. interesting for food experience ven venue i would say experience okay not that the food isn't incredible but there's just something about going to like a I want to use the word themed restaurant in yeah. Magic Kingdom, but it's it's like an actual, like, you feel like you're in the movie. Yeah. In a, like, the Jungle Cruise sort of dealio. Yeah. And where in California Grill, you can tell you're just regular people sitting, eating dinner. And I like the experience of, like, feeling like you're in the movie. Yeah. So... I still have not seen that movie. I need to. Because didn't it's you like really it? really good. Yeah. I loved it. I think I'm also going to go with Skipper Canteen. Because the food is amazing. And yeah, I love how their menu is so goofy. And just how the Skippers treat you. Just like in the Jungle Cruise. Just, I don't know, they're funny. Silly fun. Silly fun. Okay. I'm going to do two animals okay i'm gonna do miko from pocahontas okay and mushu from mulan oh my gosh that is so hard because miko is so cute and naughty yeah but then mushu is just hilarious oh gosh i'm gonna have to go with miko Mm. i love how naughty Miko is. Is Miko a boy? I think so. Okay. They. They. I don't know. Uh, Miko's hilarious and cute and reminds me of my cat Autumn because she's also super naughty. I'm going to go for Mushu. Yeah. That's also a good choice. He's sassy. So gotta love him. And like at the end of the day, he, he's got your back. Oh yeah, for sure. You know? For sure. Okay, so I'm going to kind of take this in a different direction because these are two things we absolutely hate. Oh, okay. And you okay. have to pick, yeah, you have to pick one. Astrid Orbiter or Mission Space Orange. Oh, my God. Yeah. Both contraptions of death. Yeah. Mariah thinks about her answer. I just wanted to drop a quick editor's note and say one of these days we will get Lacey to say the name Astro Orbiter properly. I promise. It's hard because there's nothing I can say that would defend either of these rides. No one could convince me that either of these rides have anything good about them. Agreed. But I think... Oh my god. I hate you. (laughs) Because I think I'm going to have to go with... No, I'm going with the Astro Orbiter. Really? Don't. You'll never hear me say that again. Ever. (laughs) I feel like if I'm on that ride after the elevator, the smell-evator. Stink-evator. The stink-evator. I can just strap in, close my eyes, and just lay back and not think about how 
I'm being tore up by the seats. My seatbelt is from the late 1980s. <laughs> and that I'm spinning on the top of a tall building that's going probably 700 miles an hour. And I'm... Anyways, I'll just close my eyes and think about something else. (laughs) I'm probably going to have to agree because Mission Space Orange nearly killed us. Yeah. I was so sick after that and I don't even think Dramamine would help me. But I also got pretty sick on the Astrid Orbiter because it spins so fast. So I feel like you're screwed either way. But Astrid Orbiter, at least you're like... Outside. Yeah. Yeah. But Mission Space, I don't even think I could close my eyes and forget I was on that ride. No. And I had to press the button. Otherwise, the ride wouldn't go. Yeah. Otherwise, we would have crashed. (laughs) (laughs) Ridiculous. Okay. Toy Story Land or Galaxy's Edge? No. I changed my mind. Scratch Galaxy's Edge. Pandora. I'm going to have to go with Toy Story Land. Fake fan. Fake fan? (laughs) Of what? I just... Toy Story Land is so magical. And we grew up on Toy Story. Yeah, why did you grow up on Toy Story? Well, we grew up watching Toy Story. It was... I still watch it all the time. It's... I never see you watch Toy Story. Oh, okay. Well, (laughs) I'm going to turn it on after this just to prove my point. Which one? The first one. Okay. Or the second. Uh The second is fine, but the first one, because it has Sid in it, and he's the best character in any Disney movie ever. Oh my god, I am so glad we recorded that. (laughs) Now the whole world knows that you are Team Sid. You're sick. Okay, what would you pick? Pandora. Pandora. Mm -hmm. Why? Because, number one, I love that movie. Uh-huh. And it feels like you're there. Number two, the, like, rocks and sidewalks glow at night. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Pandora is awesome. Especially if you're a fan of the movies. Mm-hmm. Like, that, they did so well. Yes. Yeah, it's... Love it. And Flights of Passage. Yep, Flights of Passage. Okay, let's do... Okay, to kind of be on the same theme a little bit. Woody's Lunchbox or Satuli Canteen, which one would you rather want to eat at? Satuli Canteen. Yeah. Mm Mm-hmm. I'd have to say the same. I feel like there's much more options for our food preferences. Yeah. Diets. Well, and we both gravitate more towards, like, Asian food. Mm Mm-hmm. Asian inspired food, so and I feel like we would get that at Satuli Canteen. Right. Okay, let's take a trip and visit the villains for a second. Okay. We're going to do Ursula or Medusa. Medusa, like from the rescuers? <laughs> yeah. Ew, why would you pick those two? They're like the worst villains. One's a kidnapper. And then one tries to steal Ariel's man. She's a homewrecker. So you got a kidnapper and a homewrecker and a voice thief too. So she's a homewrecker and she's still in voices. And she like turns people into these. I don't even know. Do we even know what they actually are? Ursula's? Those little, like, brown worms. Yeah. That she has. Are they barnacles? <laughs> Is that barnacle? Isn't I think barnacle it's like sea acne? Body. What? Yeah, kinda. Yeah. I'm gonna have to go, I guess, with Ursula because I'm. She's a kidnapper. That's a huge. Yeah, you're probably going to pick Medusa. I am, because she's crazy, and it's funny. (laughs) (laughs) 
she has two my way you road hog (laughs) she has two gator pets you're gonna have gator pets not that i want but what are we choosing for to be or just our favorite between the two just our favorite between the two okay so she has gator pets i didn't say anything about brutus and nero okay i said medusa well she comes with her pets she comes with crazy what she she's the craziest disney villain she is she's like cruel Deville level because if you think about it cruella Deville is like insane like wanting yeah. to like unalive these little puppies just so she can wear a fur coat yeah no way jose that's sick okay Mexican pavilion or Japan's pavilion? Ooh. Okay, hold on. If my memory serves correctly, is Japan the one, the Japanese pavilion, the one with the gardens? Yes. Then Japan. Even though Mexico, the Mexico pavilion is beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. And that's obviously my favorite Mm because it's my favorite pavilion Mm -hmm. ever. Your turn. Would you rather be a Disney cast member at the Haunted Mansion or Tower of Terror? Haunted Mansion. For real? Yeah. You would not look good in that getup. Oh, (laughs) I didn't think we were basing it off of that. You think I would look better as a bellhopper? <laughs> a bellhopper? <laughs> That's what they're called. A bellhop? You don't uh, need to add the e- extra P-E-R. So what does that do if I did? <laughs> okay. Okay. I wouldn't look good in a bellhop uniform. Okay, what about you? Tower of Terror. Tower of Terror. I'll wear the bellhop uniform. I hope the elevator falls on you then. And then I get to haunt the ride. Oh. Two birds, one stone. What? All right, crazy. Coco or Encanto? Coco. Me too. Encanto's good. It has good music. Mm Mm-hmm. But Miguel... And mm-hmm. El Dia de los Muertos. Mm-hmm. And oh, yes. Yeah. That movie is magical. It is. That movie is not that Encanto isn't, but Coco is something else entirely stunning. Yeah. Like in the Disney realm. Yeah. It's a beautiful movie and I love it. Pirates or Expedition Everest? Pirates. I'm gonna do expedition everest of course you are i love them both but expedition everest is my favorite roller coaster in the whole world it's my favorite it's the best disco yeti it is really cool okay blue or green milk in galaxy's edge green green Mm -hmm. i think i liked the green too but they're both very good the Blue, I just remember being a little more, like, perfumey. Yeah, like florally. Yeah. Yeah. And the green was, like, greens. So I loved it. Okay. Last one. Unless you have another one. But I have the last one. All right, go ahead. Chili spiced crispy fried tofu bowl from Satuli Canteen. And that's the one that has the popping bobas in it. Okay. Okay. Or, so do you want to try that? Or do you want to try the veggie Ronto wrap? Which one, like, ooh. Yeah. Because those are things that I know we both really want to try. But I want to know, like, which one you want to try more. I would want to try the Ronto wrap Mm. more Because it's not just, like, the wrap itself, but even eating in Galaxy's Edge just sounds so fun to me. Yeah. But the Ronto wrap just sounds so unique, you know? Yeah. That it's, like, have to. It has zucchini, which is 
I know it's not your favorite vegetable, but I freaking love zucchini. It's a fine vegetable. It's a fine When vegetable. it's cooked correctly. Yes. I'm also going to say the Ronto wrap because, like, the chili tofu bowl. I think the only thing that makes it unique is the popping boba. Mm-hmm. And I'm very curious about that. Oh, yeah. It sounds delicious. Yes. And I feel like it would add a nice, like sweetness and texture and also just kind of like tart you know oh yeah but the ronto wrap just has all ever since they came out with the regular ronto wrap and the vegan one Mm -hmm. it's just been in my mind Mm -hmm. so well this was a fun episode these are my favorites because again We love playing this or that all the time. If you have been playing along, did you agree more with Lariah or did you agree more with my answers? I'm curious to know because I feel like we asked some difficult this or that questions. (laughs) Find us on our socials, um, share, write a review that also helps us if you write a review on um spotify itunes or wherever you're listening to this write a review and we will see you or i guess we won't see you but you will hear from us in the next episode thanks for listening bye